This episode of Corey's Corner is brought to you by ThoughtsAndFitness.com. For only $7 a month, you can start building your dream body. In this episode, we are going to be going over testing Rails applications, specifically model validations and integration testing. So an integration test is basically a way of controlling the layout of our application. So to generate an integration test, you run the command Rails G integration underscore test, and it's going to be called home underscore layouts, press enter. And while we wait for that to run, we actually need to make some changes to our fixtures. So our fixtures are basically our test database. So because I ran the migrations wrong and I had to make manual changes, our fixtures were a little messed up when they were generated. So your lifts fixture should look like this and your daily workouts fixture should look like this. Sorry about that. But anyway, we have our integration test. We have our home layout test. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure the links on our nav bar are proper. Oh, one more thing. These originally were, you know, these were root paths. I changed them to hashtags just because it's going to be easier to change them later on and to test for them later on. So we come back to our test. Um, we don't need this one right now. We need boom, boom, boom. I mean, our home layout test. So we're going to do test proper navbar links. Do we're going to get the root path and we are going to assert select a. So we're getting an a tag and we want to check the href property and we want to make sure that's equal to the root path and we want to assert select a href equals question mark and these are going to be all of the other links we want to make sure that is equal to hashtag and then the count should be one two three four and we'll run our test so rails test colon integration so if i only want to run one test like the integration folder test, I would just do that. You can also do Rails test models, et cetera, et cetera, or Rails just test controllers, and then boom. So the reason that we wanna test these navbar links is because once we have users logged in, once we have admin users, once we have subscribers, the layout links are gonna be, they're gonna change based on that login status. So this is just a really basic formula for that. Expected four, actual six. Let me go to the nav bar. One, two, three, four. And we probably have something in home. So we're actually going to do this. We're going to do nav. Actually, let me go over, over to the Rails documentation. Select. I don't know this one off the top of my head, but go over here. So I just don't know how to select uh, tags within one. We only want to select the nav bar tags. So assert. All right. We're actually going to make these all one. So we're going to do assert. Select. Actually, boom, boom, boom. What is our nav bar? All right, so we actually need to do a search so like nav do elum assert select a equal href equals question mark, comma, hashtag, and then our count will be four. And then we also actually need to insert, select what we had before for our root path. So this is basically saying that for each elum inside of nav, we want to make sure that we have four links. I do this right, boom, boom, boom. Uh, 
Okay, I did do that right. Let me... But actually, I don't think I need this. Let me just do that. And then I run my Rails integration test. This is taking a little while, I'm not sure why. Okay, so I have one assertions, one runs, three assertions, zero errors, zero skips. So, if I delete one of these, I run the test again, see that we'll get a failure. Usually you do that in the inverse order, but just to demonstrate our test works, so it works properly, yes, we got a failure. Expected four, our actual count was three. All right. Oops, meant to hit Command Z. And now we want to test our models. So if we fire up our server, we open our models files, so we'll X out of nav, we'll X out of home layout. Actually, no, before we test our models, we want to make sure that our daily workout renders on home. So do, we're gonna get our root path again, and then we need to go to our home. Actually, we'll do this. We're gonna change this to show, this daily workouts um, partial. So we're gonna refactor, rename to show.html.erb. And then do refractor. Then in our home, we should have this. Okay, it refactored itself. And we're going to add an ID to this, which we will select in our assert select statement. So ID equals daily dash workout dash container. And then we need to assert. Select, I forgot how to do IDs, so I actually need to go back to the, oh, you do IDs with the hashtags, I believe. ID. So I need to assert select hashtag um, so it's uh, CSS syntax, daily workout dash container. Let's see if we get that. We'll run our integration test one more time. What we can actually do is we can do def setup. Nope. So our assertion did work. Um, let's say we want to make sure the last daily workout is rendering. We can go at daily underscore workout equals daily workout dot last, our most recent one. And then we need to Insert, select, um, boom, boom, boom. We're going to select for the title. So we'll do ID daily dash title. Actually, no, there's an, we don't need to add that title. I'm sorry. We can just X out of that. We're just going to assert that we have a P element with a value of daily workout dot focus. So you see in this, we need the tag and then the value with inside the tag. So in our test, this would look like this. Assert select P and then comma at daily underscore workout 
dot focus. And we should have another test. And we've got it green again. So we can actually do this. We can do daily workout dot all dot delete all. We'll do daily workout dot reload. Actually, no, we're not going to do that just because I cannot think of it off the top of my head. But in the next video, we're actually going to do model validations. So just to review, we are checking the layout, making sure we're scaffolding, um, or actually we're prototyping a test to make sure that our daily workout renders and that our nav bar link renders. And this helps because when our application gets more complex and we're dealing with authorization, um, our layout is going to change and therefore we need integration tests for that. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.